have a bit of sun today so I can do a bit more testing of my solar oven tracker. I put the solar panels that I have on top of the turntable and right now it's tracking the sun directly. If I shade one of the solar panels you can see that it would move away because the other solar panel is getting a little bit of the power. It moves to where that you get not enough voltage and it stops. Now when I remove when I remove this shading, the tracker goes back to where the sun is to face the sun. So that's how this thing works. Right now I'm having a bit of difficulties with the wires. I don't have enough wires. I don't have them long enough so they get tangled up and such. But that's the idea. That's how it should work. Whether I place the gear horizontally or vertically that doesn't really matter. It's just how someone would prefer to do it. So it would move until both solar panels faces the sun equally and then the uh, voltage is neutralized. The wires, one pair, one solar panel is connected to the motor the regular way. The other solar panel is connected to the motor um, with the polarity reverse. That's how this thing works. There's no additional circuitry. So you see the tracker moves away from the sun because only one side is getting the voltage. It doesn't move in a dramatic way because it just follows the sun. Not too bad. You can see the motor switching back and forth because I'm shading the panels back and forth. This pair of solar panels is about 5 watts each for each panel, so there's 10 watts of power here. Each solar panel or each cell is 0.5 volt and 3.5 amps, so um, about five, 5 watts here. These are leftover solar panels that I had from my other projects. And they seem to be doing the job. If you have smaller po solar panels, maybe they won't work as well. Okay, let's play around with it some more. Thank you. 
Yeah, it looks great. Took me a while to to come to all of this. So here I am just putting a few bricks on there to simulate the weight of the solar oven. And you can still you can see it's still moving it. I don't know how many pounds those bricks weight, but they seem pretty heavy to me. Okay, I think this concludes the test and it will be a while before I uh, can really make this more permanent because everything is kind of uh, makeshift. You see here, this is just a picture frame with a solar panel. This is of course not going to do well in real life. I would have to seal all this stuff with silicone and all that to make it more permanent and of course the wiring is atrocious so that's not gonna work but I think uh, this has uh, satisfied my curiosity in this project